Hello everyone and welcome to your Friday morning live Pilates class today with one of these, the resistance band. So it's absolutely lovely to have you here. I've got a camera, a new camera. This is a black magic camera that I'm working with today. Um, we've been trialing it, so I'm hoping that you can see me okay and that you can hear me okay. I'm wearing a microphone as well, so hopefully that helps. And yes, this is how we roll. So we're gonna get straight into the class. Once the class is over, then I'll answer any questions. If you've got any questions, uh, if anyone wants a shout out, just wants me to say hello, then we can do that too. All right. But I know lots of you have got lots of other things you've got to do. I've been looking at the chat with all the things going on today. So let us begin. OK, so come and standing on your mat or in your space, wherever you are. And we're going to use our resistance band. This is a medium band that I'm using. Now, the beauty of the resistance band is you can adjust it to suit you as you go along. If you haven't got a band, don't worry. You better do most of this without the band. You just replicate the movement pattern. OK, so let's start with our feet hip width apart. Tummy muscles in bottom tucked under, we're holding on to our band, and you can see my hands are quite wide because we're going to start with loosening up and getting those shoulders moving. So you're going to inhale, lifting the band all the way up, and then as you exhale, you're going to take it as far back as you can. If you can go all the way down behind you, then please do. Then you're going to inhale, lift, and then exhale as you come back over. So take a breath in, lifting up, and exhale as you go back. Inhale, lift, and exhale over. Good. Deep breath in, and exhale back. Inhale up, and exhale over. Good. Deep breath in. And exhale back, inhale up and over. We're going to do just one more, lifting up and going back and lift and over. Okay, so from here, we're going to bring the arms up and we're going to do a little side stretch. Okay, so this is where you'll need to just check the resistance is working for you. You're going to do a little tilt over to the side. Then you're going to pull the band down. So pulling down so you feel that resistance. Then you're going to come up and then straighten the body up. Going the other way. So you're going to tilt over, draw the arm down, bring it back up and straighten over draw the arm down up and straighten so it is a side stretch you want to feel the work in the spine and the core arm comes down arm comes up and straighten over arm down and up and straighten and over arm down arm up and straighten well done you're going to bring those arms down so we're going to do another exercise for the shoulders before we move on to the legs this is to build up the movement not here but actually from underneath your arms which are often your sort of the weaker area of the body all right so you're going to lift up all the way up you're going to bend the elbows. You're going to pull on the band. And as you open out, can you see I'm creating right angles? I'm also drawing my shoulders down at the back. So pulling your shoulder blades down. Now keep the shoulder blades down as you raise those arms up and then lower. Not as easy as it looks. All right. So we're going to lift on up. As those arms come up, shoulder blades are going down. That's the feeling you want. And you're going to bend the elbows, bring the band to the forehead, lifting up and lowering back down. And again, so we're going to lift, bend the elbows. So being mindful of trying to draw the shoulder blades down behind you. Yeah, lift 
and lower. So don't want those shoulders coming up to the ears. That's the idea. Up and bend. Nice little bit of bicep work as well. Up and lower down. Now we're going to make it a little bit more challenging on the shoulders. You're going to lift up. We're going to take the arms a little further back. So as you bend, the band goes behind your head. That's it. Lifting up and lowering back down. We're going to lift and bend. And again, shoulder blades are pulling down. So imagine them going sliding down towards the pockets uh, of your imaginary jeans. That's how I like to think of it. So coming up. And bend and lift and lower and one more up and bend and lift and lower. Okay, let's do a little bit of work with those legs. Okay, so we should be feet hip width apart, facing forward, nice lengthened spine. So let's draw those shoulders back. Let's bring our hands in just a little on the band, okay? And then we're gonna inhale, we're gonna bend, knees going forward, arms going forward level with the shoulders. And then you're gonna come up, all right? So you're gonna inhale to bend and exhale up. Inhale, bend and exhale up. Bend and up. Bend and up. For four, three, two, one. Now you're going to hold it here. We're going to do little pulses with the legs for eight, seven, six, five, four, three two, one, stay down. Now we're gonna open the arms out, open and close, open and close, open and back, open and back, four, three, two, one, come on up, nice little stretch. And now you're going to hold it here. We're going to try and lift up onto the toes. Okay, so you've got to really tighten the leg muscles, tighten the bottom, bottom muscles, start to lift your heels. Keep lifting, lifting, lifting all the way up onto the toes and lower down. And again, so lifting the heels, coming a little higher, a little higher, a little higher and lower down. And again, heels lift higher, higher and up and lower down. Last time, lift, lift, lift and lower down, bringing those arms down. So hopefully you can feel that everywhere now. Let's do a little roll out of the shoulders for three, two, one, we're going to do all that again. Are you ready? So we're going to bend and up, bend and up, bend and up. Good. So think of sitting the bottom back for four, three, two, one. Now stay down. Keep the tummy muscles in little pulses here in the legs. We're going eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay there. We're going to open and back. Open and back. Open and back. Good. And four, three, two, one. Come all the way up, nice little stretch up. Hold it there with those arms, lifting the heels. So we're gonna lift up for one, lift a little bit higher, two, higher, three, all the way up onto those toes and lower down. We're gonna lift the heels up just off the ground, then a little bit higher, then a little bit higher and down. And again, lift, lift, higher, and lower down and lift, lift, higher and lower down. Good, bring those arms down, roll those shoulders out again for four, three, two, one. 
three, two, and one. Well done. Let's have ourselves standing wide with those legs now. Okay, let's have the legs slightly turned out. Let's draw those shoulders down. Okay, so from here, we're going to bend the knees this time. We're going to take the arms all the way up, and then we're going to lower down. So we're going to bend and straighten, bend and straighten. And four, three, two, one. We're going to hold it here. You know what's coming? Little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go over to the side and come back up. Over to the other side. Try and keep your arms in position and really moving from the waist, from the spine and up. Your legs shaking yet? Over and up. Over and up. One more. Over and up. Lifting up, bringing those arms down. Let's circle the shoulders back for four. Three, two, this is your little breather, and one. All right, here we go again. So we're going to bend and straighten. So think of your back lovely and straight. It's almost like you're sliding up and down a wall. Yes, and down. We're going to go four, three, two, one, hold it here, little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Over to the side and up and over to the side and up, over and up, over and up. Good. Four, three, two, one. Coming up, all the way up. Bring those arms down and give those legs a little shake. We make it seem nice and calm, don't we? But it is actually pretty hard work. Okay, so let's go into a little bit of work to isolate the shoulder muscles and the arm muscles. You're going to take your band. And you're going to place it down in front of you on the floor. And you're going to step onto it with both feet. I'm just going to bring my band back a little. Step onto it with both feet. Okay. And you're going to take the hand down, standing nice and tall. I'm going to work the bicep now. Okay. So you're going to flex and extend. Flex and extend. Bend. And lower. So trying to keep your shoulders still. We're just bending from the elbow and down. Bend and down. Bend and down. We're going to do four, three, two, one. Bring the arm down. Now lift the hand a little higher on your band so you can see it's a little bit looser. Can you see? And for this, we want to keep the elbow straight. We're going to work the very top of the arm and around the shoulder. So you're going to lift up, no higher than shoulder level, and down. And if you start to feel that pull, that resistance lower down, then you can stop there. Okay. And lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, and three, two, one. Well done. Now you're going to bring and bring it straight forward. So you're now working the front of the shoulder right here and down, forward and down. Forward and down, lift and lower. Four, 
Try and keep the body still. Three, two, and one. Now we're going to draw a circle. You might want to go not quite so high for this one. So I would bring the arm forward once again, maybe not so high, but you want to feel that you've got that little bit of resistance in the muscle. Then you're going to smoothly take it out to the side and bring it down. So you're going to go forward, side, and down. You need to keep that body still while you do it. So again, we're isolating the arm and the shoulder. And down. Forward, side, and down. Forward, side, and down. One more. Forward, side, and down. Let's reverse that circle. So we're going to go to the side, forward, and lower. Side, forward and lower, side, forward and lower, good, side, forward and lower, side, forward and lower, one more, side, forward and lower. Now I want you to step off your band, keep it in that hand and take that arm behind you. Okay, so the band is behind you. With the other hand, reach behind you and try and take hold of the band. Reach as high as you can uh, up the back there. So you're reaching up on that band. Take hold of it, pull it down and place it on the back of your waistband. So now you've got resistance in this arm here. Can you see? Turn your palm to the ceiling. Okay, shoulders down, tummy is in. And now it's extend from the elbow and come down, extend and down, extend and down. So working the triceps up and down, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. One more, lift, now come halfway down. Just halfway down, so you can feel that resistance. We're going to do little pulses going up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extending up. Well done, bring that arm down, give that shoulder a little shake out and let's swap hands. So band is in the other hand now, place it down on the floor in front of you and then stepping onto it, that's it. Okay, so going into our biceps first, you're going to take the hand quite low because we're all stronger in this muscle. Okay, standing nice and tall and then here we go, we're going to bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. And straighten. Good. Bend and straighten. Four, four. Three. Two. And one. Bring the arm down. Bring the hand a little higher. So you've got a little, it's not quite so strong because we're working the side of the shoulder now. Remember, elbow stays straight. We are lifting up to no higher than shoulder level and back down. So you're going to do a little lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And four. Three, two, and one. Now we do that movement to the front now, keeping the shoulder down, lifting up and lower. So remember, shoulder blade stays down at the back there and lower. Elbows are straight and lower. That way we're going to target the front of the arm here. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower, one more, lift and lower, going into your circle, so you're going to go forward, out to the side and down, you want to keep that tension forward in the band, side and down, forward, side and down, 
forward, side, and down. Forward, side, and down. One more, forward, side, and down. Let's reverse it now. So again, out to the side and bring it forward and down. Really trying to keep that body still. So we're isolating this into all the muscles around the arm, the shoulder, the upper back, and down. So it's really good for your posture, all this sort of work. And down. Forward, side, and down. Last one. And forward, side, and down. Now stepping off your band and taking the band behind you. Okay, so reaching up with that opposite hand, grabbing onto the band and then pulling it down, placing the hand on the back of the pelvis. So we've got that tension here. Let's exhale, extending up and inhale to come down. Exhale, extending up and inhale down. Exhale up and inhale lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, and four, three, two, one, now come halfway down, so you're feeling that tension in the band, in the muscles of that arm, we're going to go up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, extending up, bring that arm down, and around, and just roll out those shoulders, lovely. Okay, so let's go back into a little bit of leg work with the band. So now we're going to take our right leg out to the side and point the toe. Okay, we're holding on to the band. And let's just have the band at shoulder height. Okay, so you're really going to challenge your balance here. Okay, so taking the weight into that standing leg, we're going to lift the leg up and take it down. Lift it up and take it down, lift and lower, lift and lower, four, four, three, two, one, now try and hold the leg there and see if you can lift the arms up, ooh, up, up, holding that balance, well done, and then straightening out that band. So give that band a little stretch, bring it down. Well done, and bring the leg down. Great, do the other side. That was the challenge. I didn't even know I was gonna do that myself, so there we go. All right, so we've got the hands at shoulder height, got the weight in that standing leg. Draw your shoulders down. Okay, now we're gonna lift the leg up and take it down. Lift it up and down, lift and lower, lift and lower for four, three, two, one. Now try and hold the leg there, hold it there and see if you can raise those arms up, really focusing on that standing leg. If you can stretch that band a little so you can feel that work in the arms as well. Good, take the leg down and arms come down. Wonderful, so we're gonna do a little exercise to the back. I'm just gonna turn sideways. Okay, you've got your right leg behind you. Left leg forward, shoulders are down and we're just gonna raise the band up. What I would say is have the band a bit narrower. Can you see like that, that'll help you a little. And if you pull on it slightly, it helps you stabilize. Okay, so. Arms forward, shoulders down, pointing the toes on that back leg. And you're going to try and do a straight leg lift to the back and lower down. A straight leg lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four. Three. Two. 
One, you're gonna try and hold that leg just off the ground. It doesn't have to be high. Let's see if you can bring those arms up. Woo, oh, that's a challenge, isn't it? Let's try that again. If you're still up there, keep going up with those arms. So we're lifting the leg at the back and then taking the arms up, 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 and come on down. Wowza. All right, let's do the other side. You can see my balance isn't always there either. <laughs> Left leg behind you. It is a very challenging exercise, I have to say. So we're going to have those arms out in front. Let's draw the shoulders down. So not too high with the arms yet. Just getting that balance. Then we're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Find someone to focus on in front of you. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and hold. Hold it there and then see if you can hold your balance and bring yourself all the way up with those arms. Three, two, one. Well done, coming down. Okay, so let's have our feet back to hip width apart, arms down by our side. Let's do a little roll down, so taking a breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest, bending your knees and just letting the arms hang. Let the body roll down, all the way down. Inhale there and exhale, tucking the bottom under, coming all the way up to standing. And again, deep breath in, exhale, chin to the chest, bending the knees, let your arms just hang there. That's it, good, inhale, exhale, Coming all the way up to standing. One more deep breath in. Exhale, into the chest. Bending the knees. Coming all the way down. Inhale. And exhale. Coming all the way up to standing. Well done. Now you're going to take the band behind you. So I'm going to show you, you want it to come just behind your shoulder blades like so. And then you're going to be holding your arms out like this. Okay, we can have our feet hip width apart. All right, really reaching those arms out. From there, you're going to take a breath in. We're going to breathe out, keep the hips still. We're going to try and rotate to the right, really keeping those arms open and reaching that band out, and then come back to the center. So you're gonna exhale, you're gonna rotate the other way. And inhale, back to center. Exhale to rotate. And inhale, back to center. Exhale to rotate. And inhale, center. Exhaling to rotate and inhale, center and exhale to rotate and inhale, center. Well done. All right, bring the hands around, bring the band around to the front. I'm going to go sideways. We're just going to do our last move of the class today. So let's have the feet hip width apart. You can stay facing me. You're going to tuck your bottom under. You're going to hold the band away from you slightly so you're not relaxing the arms, okay? Draw your chin in, draw those ribs in. Take a breath in. You're going to take the chin to the chest. We're going to roll down, keeping that band nice and tense, okay? Not overly so, but you're aware you're holding it. Then I want you to reach those arms out, reach the back out into a nice flat back position. And from there, I want you to come all the way up with a straight back and then bring the hands all the way back down. So taking a breath in, breathe out, chin to the chest, bend the knees, 
rolling down, so still pulling those tummy muscles in, down towards the floor. Now start to raise the arms, and as you raise the arms, extending the back, so we're working those back muscles, coming all the way up, and bringing the arms all the way back down. One more deep breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest, bending the knees, rolling down. Tummy muscles in. That's it, so we've got that lovely round spine and now we're gonna have a lovely straight spine. So lifting your arms, extending your back. If you can, you're gonna reach your arms up, take them behind you, take a deep breath in, lower down. And then exhale, coming all the way up to standing. Well done. And that's you. You're all done for today. So thank you very much for joining me. All right. So I'm going to come and chat to you now, everyone. I hope you like that class. Um, that was a mix of a class uh, that I teach and also some new movements I've been working on for you. So do let me know in the chat what you think. All right, so I'm just gonna to come to the screen now. You must excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold. So I'm just gonna very quickly uh, mop myself down. Okay, all right, good, good, good. So do let me know what you think of that. That was a full half an hour with the flexi band. And oh, here's my husband, my lovely husband. He's giving me the thumbs up. So I hope it sounded all right. It looked all right. And you can see there's a slightly different angle today. So those of you who are used to me talking uh, to you, you can see now that my camera is here. So I'm pointing at my camera, waving to you there. My screen is just below. So I'm just looking. If you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at the chat. OK, uh, so. Um, wow, we had over 200 people here today, so that's wonderful. Thank you very much for joining me. Before I forget, please will you press the thumbs up button. The more of those that I get, the more that YouTube helped me, but it also indicates to me that this, this slot is working, people are liking what I'm doing. Obviously, I always read your comments, and you'll see this chat will replay, so you can go back and do this class again and again and again if you liked it. And you'll also be able to see the chat. But I read through to make sure I read all the feedback, what people liked, what they'd like to see more of. So don't be afraid to send me a message. Let me know. You can put it in the comments below or you can put it in the live chat now whilst I'm here. OK, so let's go to first question of the day. This is from a Cheryl or it could be a Cheryl. C-H-E-R-Y-L. Hello, Cheryl. Cheryl says, when doing the scissors, my legs bend at the knee. Is there any exercise to improve this? Okay, so Cheryl, really interesting question. Scissors, a lot of people do bend at the knee. That's essentially because it's a very, very hard exercise on the hip flexors. It's also very hard exercise on the uh, the quadriceps, that's the front of the leg, and the hamstrings, the back of the legs. So generally, when the knees are bending, generally for two possible reasons. One, that it's a little bit too strong for you right now on your hip flexors, because anything where we have our legs straight, like when we do our lying down mat work, and we're doing things like the leg circles and stuff like that, when your legs are straight, you've got the full weight of your leg on the muscles of the hip. OK, and they can, you know, that can be a strain for some people. It just means you need to just gently build up your strength, but also your flexibility. So what I would say, Cheryl, is just keep doing it. Keep doing it with the legs bent and then work at slowly straightening it. It sounds to me like you need a mix of strengthening but also stretching. Sometimes the knees bend because the hamstrings are tight. And sometimes it's because the hip flexors are finding it a little bit of a challenge. So I think you just need to do a mix of stretching and strengthening. And the best way to do that is a very traditional 
Pilates mat work class. So, you know, your pelvic curls, they stretch out the front of the hips, your hip circles, you can do those with the legs bent, that will strengthen all those muscles around there. So I hope that helps, Cheryl. Uh, Goldia has a question. Hello, Goldia. Goldia says, feeling dizzy when bending down for the spine uncurling and hanging down. Had to stop doing it. Okay, well, don't worry, Goldia. You might just have a little bit of vertigo. It might just be that you're a little lightheaded from the breathing. So don't worry. Nothing to fret about, nothing to worry about, okay? So, um, yeah, just you did the right thing. If it doesn't feel right, as I always say, if something doesn't feel right for your body, don't feel you have to do it. Do what feels okay, all right? And just follow my guidance in terms of, you know, where the placement is, but if something's not feeling good for you, it's fine. You can leave it out. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to go straight on to the chat now and say hello to everybody. Thank you. Uh, donations are coming in thick and fast, which is much appreciated this morning. Uh, lovely to have you here. And so I'm just having a look. I'm right down the bottom of the chat now, seeing the most recent. So um, I can see Kathy Freeman, Kathy's in Berlin, says, great workout. Do you know if there are any devices, e.g. some kind of special gloves that stop the band cutting into the hand and putting stress on the finger joints? Wow, Kathy, that's a good question. Well, there's a couple of things you could do. You could get those um, very funky looking weight training gloves. Have you seen those gloves they wear when they lift weights? They've got kind of suede on them. Um, so you could do that. But what I would suggest, Kathy, is that maybe uh, you're holding the band too tight. I know what you mean. I've had it myself. Um, and it's a matter of adjusting. I mean, I'm kind of used to it now because I do do a lot of work with the band. But often it's because you're having to hold the band. You're holding your hands at, uh, your, and your fingers in an extended kind of a resistance position. And that can really um, make the joints feel a bit uncomfortable if they're not used to doing it. So what I think is good for us all post a session like this is to do a little release of the hands and the fingers. So just moving everything around and the wrists. And again, you know, if it gets too much, just loosen it up. Okay. Just don't hold the band quite so tight. I don't, I do know exactly what you mean as I have had it myself. Um, okay. So Sandy McClure, good workout today, showing the difference in dynamics using the band. Any tips for crunchy knees? Oh, crunchy knees, Sandy, yes. Um, crunchy knees, the best thing to do is small, gentle mobilization. So um, I call this the can-can kick just because many years ago when I was a dancer, I used to do the can-can. I used to do hundreds of these. But essentially, you can be lying down or in a chair. Can you see my knee, hopefully? And you just do gentle lift and lower. You don't fully straighten though, so don't do it fully up to here, just lift and lower. It's quite a nice way to just, I mean, my knees are crunching just a little now doing that, <laughs> but it's a good way just to get things moving. Um, but crunchy knees, generally I would say, if there's no pain, Sandy, then it just means they need to be moving, they need to get oiled up. Um, and, you know, like we all have, we have synovial fluid in our joints. It's almost like the lubrication for the joints. Sometimes you just need to move around a little. What I would just flag up, Sandy, is when they're crunching. If they're crunching, when you're doing, for example, uh, the knee bends, like the squats that we do, or the plies we do, it may be you don't want to go quite so far. But if there is absolutely no pain before, during or after, it's just a case of just getting things moving a little bit. OK, so I hope that really helps you. Um, OK, so I'm just going to go whisk up to um, the top. I just want to say the thank yous for everyone who's donated today because I don't like to miss anyone out. So I'm going to whisk down if you have questions pop them in at the bottom now because then I'll end up at the bottom and I'll read through the last few questions before we finish today. Uh, 
So Yvonne Thorpe, hello Yvonne, lovely to see you. You're up in Fife and you've donated $4.99. Thank you very much indeed. Ruth N. Wright, hello Ruth, lovely emoji Ruth, thank you very much. Ruth has donated three pounds, much appreciated for class today. Sylvia Mears, good morning from sunny Biggin Hill. Oh, Sylvia, I don't think you're too far away from me. Uh, how lovely. And you had a lovely walk this morning with the added pleasure of sheep with their lambs, quite a few sets of twins too. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, that must be really, really nice. Out in the sunshine, that's what I'm going to be doing after our session today, I generally have a cup of coffee. I have a cheeky croissant as it's Friday. And then I go for a nice walk with the dog along the beach. So that's what I'll be doing. So Sylvia's donated five pounds. Thank you, Sylvia. Lovely message. I love reading those messages, hearing what you're all up to. Susan Mitchell. Hello, Susan. Lovely to see you were here today. It's donated $2.99. And it's got a lovely, cute emoji. Thank you very much indeed. Super, going down the chat, Susan Eisenbach, what a lovely name, donated $4.99. Susan, thank you very much for your donation. Really glad you enjoyed the class today. Okay, whisking down, Carol Neath has donated five pounds. Thank you, Carol. Lovely to have you here. Great emoji. You've got your emoji with the dumbbells. And of course, we did a lot of that today, didn't we, with the flexi band. All the exercises today, I know you're all going to feel it tomorrow or the next day in your arms and shoulders and upper back because we did a lot of that work. And I really do hope you feel it, not, in, not to be mean, but to show you the importance of us women doing our upper body work because we don't, as a rule, in all the years I've been teaching, which is over 10 years, nearly 11 now, I've always known women to not like doing the upper body work. So that's the anything involving arms and shoulders or press ups, all that kind of stuff. And I know it's not particularly nice, not particularly enjoyable. But for us, it's so important because as we get older, women tend to get shoulder issues, you know, frozen shoulders and all that kind of stuff. So the more we can do to prevent that and keep those shoulders healthy, the better. So that's why I'm kind of trying to say, do try and repeat this class, do try and do those exercises because they are so, so good for you. Okay. Um, all right. Moving on down to the donations. Lovely Tony Bryan. Hello, Tony. Thank you very much indeed for your donation of five pounds for class. And Tony says, wow, those arms are the hardest I've done in Pilates. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Hope I can use a paintbrush today. I hope so too, Tony. Um, yes, they are certainly, people often ask me how I get my arms to be like this, because you can see my arms, uh, you know, for a 57 year old woman, I think I'm pretty, pretty toned in my arms. Um, and it's the flexi band generally, uh, flexi band, and then body weight exercises. So that is the press ups, modified press ups, all kinds of weight bearing work that we do in Pilates. That's how you get that. And as you can see, I'm not overly muscular. Um, I do suffer from slightly rounded shoulders, uh, like a lot of women. And so I do a lot of work to draw those shoulders back. And of course, all the work we did today with the flexi band was that. So glad you enjoyed it, Tony. And thanks again for your donation. All right, whisking down. Margaret Scott has donated five pounds. Thank you very much indeed, Margaret. Margaret says, great work, uh, workout, Rachel. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. All right, Hilary Thorne has donated five pounds. Hello, Hilary. Thank you for joining me today. And thank you for the donation. Really glad you enjoyed the class. Jenny Mitchell has donated. $3.99 and she's followed it up with an emoji for a cup of coffee, which is just the ticket, isn't it? After Pilates, there's nothing better for me than Pilates followed by coffee. <laughs> Perfect Friday. So thank you very much indeed, Jenny. Uh, Sandy McClure's donated five pounds and says, keep it up. Thank you, Sandy. Caroline Ford has donated $4.99. Thank you very much. 
Caroline's. I'm whisking through all the donations, so I'm sort of prioritizing people who are donating at the moment so I can say hello to you all. Goldia has donated two pounds. Thank you very much, Goldia. Ranjit has donated $4.99. Um, and Ranjit says, loved your initial screenshot exercises. Helped my injured shoulder. Well, that's great to hear, Ranjit. All the exercises we did today, everyone, were functional exercises for the shoulders. So you probably heard me saying over and over about drawing the shoulders down as your arms are going up, all that kind of stuff. All of that is really good for just general function of the shoulder joint. So great to hear from Ranjit, who had an injury in her shoulder, that it's really helped. So thank you for letting us know, Ranjit, and thanks for your donation. Uh, Virgo Hines has donated four euros. Hello, Virgo in Portugal. Lovely to have you here. Hopefully your weather is super duper now, a little bit warmer out there. Lovely coffee emoji, which is wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, so I'm just going to have a look for a couple of questions. Um, okay, so... <laughs> Oh, Helen Nagar. Sorry, I've just got to read this one. Helen says, great class, Rachel. Just what I needed, though I doubt whether I'll be able to lift my arms tomorrow. Well, you'll have to let us know, won't you, Helen? <laughs> Very good. Um, Valerie Vincent, don't understand why my band is always on my head while bending on one side when yours is not. Ah, right, Valerie, let me think about that. It might be, is that when we're going over to the side? It might be because what some people do, let me show you. Uh, it could be this. So when you've got your arms up and you're going sideways, the idea is that you do not change the, move, the arms at all. You just bend at the waistline. Therefore, the space between the arms and the ears remains the same. But it may be that your arms are dropping over, possibly, I don't know, and coming up. So have a look at that. Sometimes it's quite good to do those exercises in the mirror and have a look because then you can correct yourself or just see what you might be doing. Um, yeah, the band, it's an interesting, it's an interesting piece of kit. I have to say, I think this is the most useful piece of kit I have. And I've got all the Pilates apparatus as well. So I have a reformer and a ladder barrel and a Cadillac and all the Pilates equipment with the springs and all that. But I find this is the thing that is the most useful because it's small, you can take it anywhere, and there are so many exercises that you can do with it. And today we just did a, a few of the exercises I know. I probably know, I don't know, at least 100 exercises that you can do with this band, uh, some of which are quite common and some are little things I've invented that kind of work for me, but there we go. Before I forget everyone, I uh, wanted to let you know that I have filmed a new video for you, which I'm going to upload on Monday. I'm still working out times because I tried uploading on Mondays at 8.30 in the morning, which worked for some people, but not for others. So the last couple of weeks, I've uploaded at 5.30 p.m. That's British time, 5.30 p.m., um, and I'm going to do that this week. But if the time doesn't work or you think there's a better time, then do let me know because it's, you know, I do them for you. So it's obviously it's got to work for you. And the difference with an upload, just so that you know, is obviously this is live. I'm here right now talking to you right now. An upload is something I previously filmed and then it goes out as a premiere on Monday, but I try and be live on the chat. So you'll see me talking on the chat, but you won't see me like this chatting to you. Okay, and the workout, which I'm sure you're all dying to know what it is, is just over 20 minutes, and it is a challenging one, I can tell you. It is a Pilates mat and bar workout. We call it floor bar, 
Um, so when you train in ballet, there are uh, dance conditioning exercises that you do, and they call it floor bar. So instead of you being standing at the bar doing your plies, you're on the floor doing the leg work. So there's lots of work for the legs, the glutes, the inner thighs. And I can tell you, I filmed it yesterday morning at and I can really feel it today. So today was quite interesting for me doing that class. But that'll be out on Monday. Great, great exercise for the legs, the hips, the inner thighs, the core. So do check that out. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go into a couple of questions before we finish. Um, Sheila Round says, you enjoyed that. Certainly challenge still hurts in left upper arm and shoulder though due to rotator cuff problem yes so Sheila remember with your rotator cuff injury uh you're obviously on the mend which is great because you were able to do it so that is fantastic just remember you only live to where feels okay so anyone out there who's got rotator cuff injuries uh you live to where is okay you generally find that one direction is okay and another direction is a no-no all right, so just do what you can, but never push through the pain. So if there's anyone out there with a shoulder injury, don't go to the place where it's painful. Just come shy of that, okay? Because if there's pain, it means there's inflammation, which means you don't want to be aggravating it, okay? But Sheila, well done. And this is probably a good one for you to do in a kind of modified way. Anyone who does have shoulder issues, I've got two videos that you can do on the channel that are very specific to shoulder injury and shoulder pain. So do go check those out. One is a vlog, which kind of explains the, uh, the common uh, injuries you can get and conditions. And then the other one is uh, exercises for shoulder pain. So if you put shoulder pain in the search bar, you'll see those two videos. And the shoulder pain one, there are no props. It's all work without props. And it's very much functional to get the shoulders moving. Okay. Uh, so Jenny Mitchell says, YouTube are late notifying me. Where do I find the live chat before you start? Oh, that's a really good question. Well, I think, um, Jenny, if you've, uh, if you know, I upload, uh, sorry, you know, I do a live every Friday. So if you go into the page, if you click on that, you'll see it on your uh, YouTube page, you'll see uh, scheduled and the time. Yeah. And the title of what it is, you just click on it like you would do now to come to it. If you click there, you should be able to, the live chat should come up automatically. So make sure that you've got the live chat on your page. If you're seeing the live chat now, it should be there. It might be that uh, YouTube normally notify you, I think, quite, quite close to when I actually go live, don't they? So what I would suggest is if you send yourself a notification. So when you go into the page and you can see that I've got a live coming up on a Friday, you'll see there's a little bell notification. If you click on that, it should notify you sooner. And if you click on the uh, uh, click on the thumbnail, uh, the thumbnail title, it'll bring the page up, and then the live chat should be there. Um, because I know we had uh, a few people come on quite early this morning. I think it was Yvonne. It was for you, wasn't it? I had a quick look early morning. I thought, oh, Yvonne's already on live. Yvonne was on at I think eight eight thirty. So obviously it is there and you can talk on it so maybe try that Jenny and and let me know if it works because I'm still learning all about the sort of tech side of YouTube along with actually the uh, the broadcasting side um Anne Butler says oh Anne, Anne says bye bye bingo wings tough on the arms but super good I do your Pilates sessions nearly every day and balance and flexibility really improves. Well, that's wonderful to hear and, and well done for doing it every day. Yeah, I think it's one of those things, isn't it, with um, Pilates that I've learned over the last, what, 10, 10, 11 years I've been teaching. And before that, I was doing Pilates for 10 years in studios in uh, New York when I was out there, working out there, but also all around London. 
And it is real mindful movement, but because the movement is slow and controlled, doesn't mean it's not difficult. It's actually much harder. As I'm sure you all noticed when I was trying to balance today with my leg behind me, you know, doing something slow and holding it and being controlled is much harder on the body. It really challenges your muscles and all this standing work, just so you all know, it really does challenge your core. Yeah, because you're having to hold yourself in a position and not fall over. And that really targets the core. That's why I love the standing work as well. All right, because it's really good functional work, keeps you fit for life, as I say. All right, so on that note, I'm going to go. I think I had one more, Cherry Marshall. Hello, Cherry. Thank you very much for your donation, your lovely emoji. I'm going to wish you all a wonderful weekend. I'm going to say let's meet again same time next week. So 10 o'clock next Friday, where I'll have another wonderful Pilates session for you. And until then, take care of yourselves. Do go on to the channel. Find yourself another workout. Try and get at least two or three in before I see you next. All right. So have a lovely day. Take care. And bye for now. Bye-bye.